Okay, this is Music March Madness, and some of these choices are ridiculously hard. Okay, we've got Jay-Z versus Beyonce, which is unfair. Like, I'm a big fan of both of these artists, but I will say Jay-Z because I listen to Jay-Z more because it's more the zone I'm usually in. So Jay-Z, even though Beyonce is the greatest performer alive, period. And then Stevie Wonder versus Johnny Cat. I have to go with Stevie Wonder, one of my biggest influences, my friend. I've even sung with the guy a few times. I do love Johnny Cash, though. Whitney versus Freddie Mercury. Whitney, I believe, is the greatest vocalist in the history of pop music. So, Whitney. Dolly versus Aretha. I gotta go with Aretha. Aretha's like my heart and soul. I grew up on Aretha. So now we have Jay-Z versus Stevie Wonder. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna pick Stevie. Whitney versus Aretha. Ooh, I like Whitney's voice better, but I like Aretha's music better. So I'd be more likely to listen to Aretha more often. So I'm going to say Aretha. Is that controversial? I don't know. Stevie versus Aretha. Stevie Wonder is the winner. My Music March Madness bracket results in a championship for the great Stevie Wonder. I've called him the greatest solo artist in the history of music, and my bracket says the same thing. We're gonna play Music March Madness. Okay, Jay-Z or Beyonce? Hmm. Beyonce. All right, Stevie Wonder or Johnny Cash? Johnny Cash? Oh my gosh, my hero. I'm gonna say Johnny Cash. Okay, Whitney Houston or Freddie Mercury? I've always been a huge fan of Whitney Houston. Love her. She's just beautiful. I won't go Whitney. Okay, now the last one is Dolly Parton or Aretha Franklin. Wow, how do you choose between that? I'm going with my buddy Dolly Parton. Love that woman. Okay, Dolly. All right, now we're down to the final playoffs. Beyonce or Johnny Cash? Staying with my country root, going with Johnny Cash. Okay, JC. All right, now Whitney Houston or Dolly Parton? I'm a country girl. I'm going with Dolly Parton, my hero. All right, Dolly. Okay, now we've got between Dolly Parton and Johnny Cash. I think even Johnny would say, Reba, go with Dolly. So I'm going with Dolly. Congratulations, Dolly, you win. Woohoo! Dolly Parton for the win. Okay, March Madness bracket. Okay, first Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, that's a tough one out the gate. I'm gonna go Beyonce, just cause Jay-Z would be mad if I picked him. All right, let's see, we got Stevie Wonder and Johnny Cash. Sorry, Johnny Cash. Stevie Wonder, there's no comparisons. Who else we got in round one? Whitney Houston or Freddie Mercury? That's closer than you would think. I really love Freddie Mercury, and he has an amazing skill for arranging, and he was all those voices on those Queen songs. But Whitney Houston is the reason why I have a job. This show is called The Voice, so I gotta give it to Whitney Houston, The Voice. Dolly Parton or Aretha Franklin? Aretha Franklin, come on now, y'all. And all these people are great, you know what I mean? All right, second round, we got Beyonce and Stevie Wonder, wow. Man, that's really tough. <laughs> I gotta go Stevie Wonder, I'm so sorry. I grew up listening to Stevie Wonder. He's a musical genius, plays all the instruments in the world. He's overcome everything that has ever come out. On the other side, round two, we got Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin. I gotta give it to Whitney, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. Aretha Franklin's amazing, queen of soul. But well, Whitney Houston is who I pick. I mean, you can't change that, right? Stevie Wonder or Whitney Houston for the final round. Wow, why is it so much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be? 
I gotta go with my gut on this and give this to Stevie Wonder, man. This is our greatest living artist, greatest living artist in the world, Stevie Wonder. You win March Madness. Musical March Madness, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. This is gonna be very tough. I'm looking at this. Uh, these are very tough decisions. All right, <laughs> we're starting with probably the toughest, Jay-Z and Beyonce. I mean, how do you choose? How do you choose? I mean, you gotta go Queen B probably. Yeah, I was about to say, how do you not choose Beyonce? Uh, next up over here we have Stevie Wonder and Johnny Cash. That's a tough decision, but I would have to say Johnny Cash. The man in black. The man in black, I feel like you kind of got to go. Country bias, maybe, yeah, maybe a little, a little bit. bit. Let's go over here, I guess, to bring them in. We got Whitney Houston and Freddie Mercury. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. But I, I feel like as much as I love Whitney Houston, I feel like one of the greatest voices of all time, Freddie Mercury, I think I would probably go with Freddie. All right, and the last one here, we got Dolly Parton versus Aretha Franklin. Oh man, that's so tough. I feel like we did the country bias on Johnny Cash over Stevie Wonder, so we might have to, to go with Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, I mean, her voice is one of the greatest of all time. So is Dolly, but okay, Aretha, well. all right, let's see, between Freddie and Aretha, I mean, come on, this is getting harder and harder. I mean, I'm a massive Queen fan, so I would have to go maybe with Freddie. Okay, okay. That's my pick. And so I'll let you lead the Beyonce Johnny Cash. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you choose? That's rough. If we're talking about voices here, think of it in that context. Okay. If we're thinking about voices, I'm going to lean a little more toward. Yes. Beyonce. It's Beyonce versus Freddie in the finals here. I mean, that's unbelievable. Do we have to pick a winner between those two? No, we don't. It's going to be. Do. <laughs> it's going to be a tie. It's both. They're joining as a duo. I'm going to choose Beyonce. You're gonna I'm going to choose, choose Freddie. How about that? That's, uh, that's a win-win. There we go. There we go. We're all winners here. Everybody wins. <laughs>